Okay, so the first thing you need is some extra virgin olive oil, um, some Dawn antibacterial soap, plate, and an alternate option is baby shampoo. So you just want to start by pouring some of the olive oil into the dish. Pour a little more olive oil into the plate. And then you're going to pour some of the soap. And then when you've got this little mixture going, you want to wet your brush a little bit. And then you're just going to swirl it around in the plate, mixing the two of them together and getting it all up in the brush. You just want to keep swirling it in to make sure that there's enough product on the brush. And then you're just going to start rubbing it in circles on your hand. And this is just going to help to really massage everything into it and to get all of the dirt and old makeup out of the brushes. Then you want to run it under water and you want to keep doing this swirling motion and running it under water and everything until you start to see the water run clear. If the water is still coming up like sudsy or with any kind of like color of makeup, then your brush is not finished being cleaned and you need to keep going. Some of the bigger brushes like this take a little bit longer and a couple of extra times running it under the water to make sure that everything is out of it. Okay, and then once the water is running clear and your palm is completely clean, there's no more makeup coming out, you just want to reshape the brush so that when you lay it down to dry, it dries back to its normal shape. And you want to place all of them just like this on a towel or whatever, but have it hanging off the side so that if anything drips out of it, it goes like into your garbage. That's what's right under my... Okay, and then you just want to keep doing the same thing the whole time until all of your brushes are done. And I think we can speed it up now. Okay, and then an alternative way that you could do it is just by using baby shampoo. And this is just a generic version of Johnson's baby shampoo. And you just want to do the same exact motion as we were doing before and the same exact process and steps. Um, both methods work really well. I've been using the baby shampoo for a couple of months now. And I've only actually started to use the olive oil and Dawn antibacterial soap recently. But I really like both of them and both of them leave my brushes really soft and really clean. And then just some other options for you guys are you can use um, color treating shampoo. I used to use that a while ago, but I just stopped wanting to use my good color treating hair shampoo. Um, but if you have one, a brand that's like not too expensive or whatever, you could totally use that as well. Um, and also MAC has a really good brush cleaner. It, I don't know what it's actually called, but it's like a pink liquid. And it's really great for spot cleaning if you're, you know, using brushes back to back on people or just if you're using a lot of eyeshadow colors and you want to be able to clean your brush off, that brush cleaner is amazing. And it's not too expensive. I believe it's like $14. I really wish that cleaning your brushes could go this quickly because believe me, it is a long process. But it is definitely worth it because you don't want to keep using those same brushes on your face because then all the old makeup and dirt and bacteria is just getting put back onto your face and it causes breakouts and it's just not good. So make sure that you guys are cleaning your brushes, I'd say, every two weeks or so. Okay, and then you just want to make sure, like I said before, to lie all of your 
brush is flat like this, um, you never, ever, ever want to leave them standing up like I'm about to show you right now because then the water sleeps into the glue and it just starts to loosen the brushes and they break so much easier. I hope you guys find this helpful and I hope you're having a fabulous day.